What does video look like in binary? What would this video look like if it was in ones and zeros? In this video, I'm going to show you. So I searched video to binary first, and that didn't yield any conclusive results. So I did video to base64, and I'll tell you more about that later. And so I came across base64.guru, and you upload your file, and basically it just encodes it in base64. And so I did that to the video clip. And for those of you who don't know what Base64 is, it makes no sense, but the line below it actually does. It says Base64 encoding schemes are commonly used when there is a need to encode binary data that needs to be stored and transferred over media that are designed to deal with ASCII. So basically, video, if it needs to be text, this is the way to do it. So one application of this might be email. I don't know if this is always the case, but if you just need to send a video, but it can only be through text, this is the way to do it. You would encode it in Base64, and then the computer on the other end would decode it. So I found crypty.com and that actually didn't help at all. It crashed my computer, it slowed down. So I spent some time and I made my own Python code. And I finally got an output. And you might be noticing that it's in Ubuntu and that's because it just doesn't work on Windows, it just crashes. Here is the actual code. So as you can see, it imports base64 of course, because it needs to import that. Imports time. The only reason for that is because I have it sleep at the end. So this is where you import the base64 to be output as binary. So right here, T equals, and then you type in your text. And then down here is where it actually prints it. It joins it or whatever. And you can see T there and T up here. And then it prints it and just sleeps at the end. So yeah, I finally got an output. And once it's stylized, it looks like this. And the way I got it to match up with the video is I took the duration of the video and I took the duration of that text scrolling across the screen. I pasted it in the original video's duration and then did a quick mask and then put the binary below it. And here we go. This is the final result. This is what about five seconds of video looks like in binary text. So that's pretty much it for this video. Check the description for the code if you need it or anything. And thank you for watching.